Good morning, Hillcrest families. It is Dr. Lynch here. It is our first day of spring break, so I just want to say congratulations. We made it to spring break. I know that this is very disappointing for a lot of us. This is not where we thought we would be on spring break or how we would be spending our spring break or how we would come into our spring break. Um, but I do hope that over the next few days, you can find a way with your family to disconnect from this new normal that you are in. Stop cleaning the same rooms again and again because everybody's home. Um, step away from the COVID TV. Step away from the distance learning for a little bit and find something in your sort of quarantined state that allows you to feel like you are celebrating spring break and taking a break in some way. I do just want to take this opportunity to celebrate you as parents. Four weeks ago today, at the end of our school day, we shut our doors and we sent all of our students home. And as parents, you had to pick up and become their classroom teachers, along with maintaining sometimes your full-time jobs, taking on new jobs, caring for ill or elderly, maintaining your home. There has been a lot that has happened for you over this last month. We turned your world upside down overnight. Our students, their worlds were turned upside down overnight. Our teachers, we have all had immense amounts of change over these last four weeks. And parents, I just want to let you know, you're killing it. You are doing a great, great job. And I know that every day is really hard. And I know that there are days where we have families that are crying and they're going to bed and they're saying, I just can't do this one more day. This is some nutty stuff here. And you are not alone, but I want you to know that you are doing the absolute best that you can do every day and your kids are benefiting from it. They're watching you be warriors. They're watching your strength. They're watching you through something that will be a once in a lifetime experience. So keep doing the amazing job that you are doing. This is setting for your children, how we handle really difficult times and how we persevere together as a community and as families. And you are setting exceptional examples. So I know it's hard. Our hats go off to you. I cannot even imagine what so many of you are managing right now. And we are so, so thankful for you. So thank you. I also want to take a minute to thank our teachers. Our teachers in less than 24 hours shifted to doing online virtual distance learning and they never missed a beat. They immediately took to sending letters home to doing Zoom and then Google Meets. They have been having individual conversations with students, sending out notes. They have worked really, really hard, also under sometimes very difficult conditions of caring for their own families. And they wanna make sure that your children know that we are still here as a community, that their teachers still love them and are thinking about them and want them to continue learning. And that has been no easy feat. So I just wanna take this time also to thank the exceptional, exceptional teachers at Hillcrest and all of our staff at Hillcrest because it isn't just our teachers who have stepped up. Our wonderful custodial, custodial crew underneath the direction of Mr. Van Scovens has cleaned our entire building and they have been working while the rest of us have been home. Our counselors and nurses, our occupational therapists, speech language pathologists, school psychologists, our IAs have asked how they can help. Our paraeducators are checking in on kiddos. Our additional adult assistants are checking in on kiddos. Everybody has stepped up to do an amazing job making sure that we are still a Hillcrest community, even though we aren't in the same schoolhouse. So my hat's off to everybody at Hillcrest for doing an amazing job during these last four weeks. I also want to take this last minute to just thank everybody in our community, from our Hillcrest community to our community members out there who cannot stay home because their jobs are so important that they have to put themselves and their families at risk every day so that we can continue to be safe and have the things that we need. So thank you to all of our medical providers, anybody who is working in any kind of a medical profession. Thank you to our frontline responders, our firefighters, our police officers, Thank you to our um, 
custodial crews, our cleaning crews. Thank you so much to all of our elected officials who continue to go to work to make new policies that are going to help us keep us safe. Thank you to our food service providers, our restauranteurs, our grocery stores, our delivery services, our mail carriers. Thank you to everybody who continues to work as essential personnel out in the community, putting themselves at risk. I want to thank everybody who has continued to work very, very hard at home, now doing virtual or distance work at home while also taking care of families. We know that work did not stop for most of us and in some cases has gotten a lot more intense. Thank you to all of our daycare providers who continue to provide daycare for our first line responders. And thank you to everybody who keeps going out and posting wonderful thank yous to all of those responders. I can't tell you how much it means to them. So thank you to everybody who goes to the parking lots of the hospitals to put up signs and to say thank you to grocery store workers. Thank you to everybody who's putting hearts in their windows to show their gratitude. And to everybody who's putting things like teddy bears and windows and everything else to make sure that our children know that we are all still connected as a community. So hats off to Catonsville. You guys have just done an outstanding job. I'm so proud to be a lifelong Catonsville resident. I know many of you are too. If you want to give your thanks for any frontline responders or for anybody that I did not say here, please retweet, add your own video or add your own text at the bottom of the Facebook and give shout outs to people that you want to give thanks to. I hope you guys have a restful next four days of spring break. We'll see you back on Tuesday to pick it up where we left off. Have a great weekend.